Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com. My name is Raman Deep Singh and today we are going to do an important topic that is market segmentation. Basically we are going to do the quizzes, MCQs karenge aaj hum iske. Let's start the session uh, with the explanation what is market segmentation and before starting let me tell you marketing mains, IBPS SO marketing mains is already, course is already available on bankexamstudy.com. It's a proper course that Team Bank Exam Study has made. We are covering the entire syllabus with the help of video classes, notes and the test series. So links are available in the description anyways. Please check the links to, to join the full course. So what is market segmentation? It is a strategy in which the population or the whole market is divided into segments. Okay. Uh, there are four types, geographic and demographic, psychographic and behavior. We will discuss karenge. So that certain products can be pitched or presented to them that appeals their interest. So first one, geographic. Uh, so you can divide the whole market according to the geography. Okay, so Ludhiana or the state of Punjab or the India as a country, right? So this is a market. Market ko best apne aise divide kar diya according to the city, according to state, according to the nation. So you're dividing the market. That is geographic segmentation. What is demographic uh, segmentation according to the demography? So the factors such as the gender, age, or marital status or income, these are the demographic. According to them, uh, the whole population is divided into, you know, segments. Why segmentation is important? For example, students, you are, uh, you are trying to market a product uh, such as Kinder Joy, which is generally consumed by kids. Kinder Joy is a product that kids consume. Karte hai. So if you have done your segmentation properly, you can market your product properly. Aap se Kinder Joy ka advertisement Cartoon Network pe karoge. That is why uh, it is important. Psychographic, uh, your lifestyle, uh, your behavior, attitude towards life. Uh, maybe you are active in your lifestyle, you eat organic food or generally you eat healthy food, generally you are active, you are into meditation, that is your lifestyle. You are going to buy products that are related, okay? So behavioral segmentation, so uh, that is how you react to the products, to the brands, right? Maybe you are used to buy uh, milk in packets, in bottles, one liter bottle. You are using the same brand from last 20 years. So most probably you are going to use the same brand for next uh, decades, right? So that the way you behave, right? According to your behavior, according to your behavior, behavior segmentation is done. So that is how the companies, they calculate the demand, what kind of product you're going to buy and they match the marketing, uh, you know, uh, campaigns according to that. Okay. These are the four ways. So the segmentation of markets based on gender. So based on gender students, uh, this is the one geographic, demographic, psychographic and behavior. Now gender pe kaun sa tha? That is demographic. So demo in the demographic segmentation, uh, that is for the gender on the basis of gender age uh, so demographic segmentation is done geographic according to the location <coughs> let's move forward to the question number two which of the following is not a base for marketing segmentation uh, segmentation education hai. this is a demography marital status age occupation raw material is not related this is the correct answer it is not a base for marketing segmentation okay demand consists of what uh, you have some you want something and you have resources for that and you have the willingness to spend money on that particular need on that particular product that is demand that is what that is demand okay and the concept of segmentation is based on the understanding that customers are heterogeneous so the customers are different all the customers they are different the customers they have uh, their age is different their location is different age there, there are uh, uh, you know customers from a variety of places right their lifestyle is different some people are more into fast food some people are more into organic food right the behavior is different approach towards products is different so the customers are heterogeneous they are not homogeneous okay which of the following is an example of behavioral basis of market segmentation so lifestyle is not behavioral it's psychographic we if you if you can just check this 
lifestyle is psychographic either you are active in your you have an active lifestyle so that is a psychographic geographic i already told you according to city state demographic it's according to your age gender income right that is demographic behavioral how you behave right towards various brands so let's move forward so usage rate uh, so how often you buy milk how often you buy milk you buy the milk daily how often you buy bread you buy bread after two days that is your usage rate so that is behavioral basis so country that is geographic age of consumer that is demographic lifestyle is psychographic and usage rate is uh, the behavioral basis okay age of customer is demographic characteristic of market segmentation theek hai brand loyalty of a consumer is dash attribute brand loyalty is behavioral you have a brand you are going to buy verka milk verka milk the normal one the 5% fat wala verka milk daily so this is your usage rate rate uh, daily you are going to buy and this brand you are going to buy every day that is your behavior no matter what that is your behavior okay so brand loyalty is a behavioral attitude uh, you are going to buy a verka not amul that is the brand loyalty that's how you generally behave which of the following is not a demographic characteristic age uh, sex marital uh, status income these are demographic and attitude is not attitude is not Uh, a demographic characteristic attitude is we can get back attitude is psychographic segmentation a uh, behavior behavior uh, the lifestyle attitude interest these are psychographic how you behave how you actually react okay so these are psychographic behavioral segmentation these are your habits for example buying milk every day of a certain brand that is your habit okay so the companies they already know you are going to buy 1 liter of verka milk 4.5 fat that is your behavior okay the consumer market is segmented on the basis of income age sex location so all of the above a very large market or wide collection of small uh, small segmentation is known as mass market so india is a mass market bahut badi market ko choti choti market ka combination is mass market uh, what do you mean by niche market when a market is targeting a small portion of that uh, of the uh, of the industry so mass market mein i can give you two wheeler bikes mein aap uh, karte hain smaller uh, mass market mein splendor or hero passion so they are targeting hero passion or honda activa honda my writing is really bad today honda activa so they are targeting mass market okay niche market what about royal enfield royal enfield or what about uh, Honda Hynes 350 or Hayabusa they are targeting niche market very small market is there what is meta market so you might have seen uh, spare part uh, shops in your city there might be like 20 30 spare part shops in a locality that is a meta market similar uh, you know uh, industry se related shops aas paas khul jati hain usko meta market bolte hain that is meta market so spare parts ki shops this is a good example uh, or even in certain cases jo bikes ki agencies hoti hain they are close by that is meta market multi level market multi level marketing you buy uh, you find your affiliates and then they'll find further affiliates and everybody is going to get commission so that is mlm so very common so students ibps so marketing mains 2023 course it's available on bankexamstudy.com we are covering the entire syllabus with the help of video classes notes test series quizzes and interview preparation guidance or uh, the link is available in the description please check the course and uh, list of our successful students in 2022 all these students that took our courses and they cracked their respective exams i'm really really happy for them all these students that took our courses in 2022 2021 2020 all these students that took our courses and they cracked their respective exams and i'm really really happy for them 
Links are available in the description. Please check the links. And if there is any doubt in your mind, please ask your doubts and we are going to answer your doubts. And that's all for today, students. Thank you and have a very nice day. Bye.